Hi, I'm Victoria with Tacoma Dodge Ram Work Trucks out in Tacoma, Washington. Today we have a Ram 5500 120 inch cab to axle with a marathon van body which is 16 feet long. You're going to see that this is regular cab configuration with your DEF tank, easy access, upfitters don't have to make any modifications to put it in place, so you end up saving a few bucks there where some of our competitors, they have to modify the body or the location is under the hood. With the van body, it is a huge blank space for your advertising. You just throw on your graphics, they have a way to reach out to you, and it's free advertising because you already own the truck. Diesel is right here for filling up making it easy for your drivers. They don't have to go to the other side of the truck. They just pull up, fill, and go. On the back of the truck, you're going to see high visibility brake lights, reverse lights, as well as a full steel bumper with a steel tread plate for added traction. We also have the reflective tape on it, as well as we've integrated the factory backup sensors into it. So not only do you hear, hear when you're getting close to an object, but we have a factory backup camera that is mounted, so you have visual and auditory. So hopefully you guys are going to have to have, you're, hopefully you're not going to have to buy a new bumper. When you're looking inside the cargo area of the truck, you have your slotted wood walls, which helps with giving it that clean appearance, but also gives it some structural rigidity. And also you're able to mount some additional tie down points, able to just tie down in itself to it, as well as add shelving. On the floor, it is a wood floor. This truck itself is a 19,500 GVW. Truck weighs 10,490 pounds, which allows for you to have just over 9,000 in payload capacity. Part of why we're able to get such a high payload capacity over our competitors is that we have the aluminum sidewalls, which is a thinner material and a more lightweight, so that it's allowing for you to do work more efficiently. You're going to see the, the, on the roof itself, you have your translucent roof so that when we do have some light, you're able to get some natural light in, but even on those darker days, we have the LED light in there. To help you get in and out of the truck itself, you have your to help you get in and out. And then this truck itself was installed over at Allied Body Works, which is up in South Seattle. And then you have your Alcoa wheels, which are 19 and a half inch, which are married up with the on off-road tires. Underneath the truck itself, you have some options if you want to add any underbelly boxes to store any like chains for your truck or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about climbing in the back to get it or having it take up space in your cab area. On your door handles, we have it so that it's easy if you are in a colder climate, you're able just to just put your hand on the door, open it up, close it, go. You don't have to worry about taking your gloves off and trying to get in, as well as your trailer tow mirrors. On the tire, the front wheels themselves, they're more of an outboard wheel, which that's going to give you your fender flares, which help with keeping a clean appearance, reduces the likelihood of throwing mud up on the truck, helping keep the, everything clean. But in addition with these outboard wheels, you're actually getting, going to get the best turning radius in the market. So that even though that this is a 16 foot body, you're going to be able to make those turns. When we're coming over to this front bumper, it's a clean chrome appearance with your front park sensors. So as you're pulling into an area, your guys are going to be able to know that they're getting close to an getting close to something. You also have your fog lights along with your projector headlamps, bull nose um, tow hooks to help out pulling people out. And as you're coming around, you're going to see on this truck itself, it is the Cummins motor along with your ice and transmission, which is best in class. You also have on your seats itself, when you throw up the front seat, you're going to see you have a storage area behind the driver passenger seat along with hooks so that you don't have to worry about materials going down, going underneath your seats and having to fish them out later. Your seats themselves are vinyl as well as your all weather floor mats and vinyl flooring. That's going to make it easy for you to keep clean. They hold
hold into place. With the Ram trucks, they are a push button start. All you have to do is throw your foot on the brake, press the start button, the start up. We have the quiet, we have the quietest truck that's in the market. And you can hear that because this motor is running. So you, when you got, when your guys are working, they'll be able to see, have everything and be able to still communicate. On your radio, it is a touchscreen five inch display. Your backup camera is installed so that it's going to come through that radio display, as well as your phone calls with your Bluetooth. Your steering wheel audio controls are right here so that you can answer your calls, also change your radio station without having to take your eyes off the road, and you can do it all by voice. Your instrument um, controls are right here on your dash, cruise control, as well as your trend as well as your transmission gear controls. So if you want to manually control your transmission, you have the ability. As we're coming over, you're going to be able to see your storage tray, which you can use to help hold business cards or be able to put your key in. Easy, easy controls to be able to use even if you're wearing gloves. Heat, AC, I'll just adjust right with the dial. With the Ram truck, you get, with the diesel motor, you have your diesel exhaust brake, as well as tow haul and trailer brake control that we've opted for. All are factory, you don't have to worry about a bunch of aftermarket parts, as well as this is the control for your LED light that is in the back, that's part of your auxiliary system. Underneath the hood, there's an area where you can have pigtails that you can just plug and play and you don't have to worry about splicing in your wiring. Underneath, you have an additional storage shelf with your USB and USB Type-C and auxiliary. For your vents, you can actually completely close them out so that if you are in a dusty area, you don't have to worry about bringing dust into the cargo, into the truck itself. Storage shelf along with your glove box. Then you're going to be able to get a better view of your trailer tow mirrors here. We've opted for the power adjustment with heated, making it easier for you as you have drivers getting out and switching up so that they can have good visibility. You have up here is your interior lighting as well as sunglass holder and you're able to turn your lights on individually as well as you're coming over you have a little clip to be able to hold any paper so that they're not just floating around the truck as well as your microphone for your Bluetooth you have one on your passenger side as well so that people aren't having to yell across the truck and be heard. I'm Victoria. Thank you very much. This is a Ram 5500 with your Marathon van body.